to Pilates. And for those joining us online, we have sliders or you can just slide on the floor. I have hand weights or you could use some hands. And just at the end, we're gonna add in the spiky ball or a tennis ball if you've got one. So if you're doing recorded, you can stop and start as you please. We're gonna start with our breathing just to get ourselves nice and centered because once we slide, we need to get into those muscles in a deep way. Take a breath in and exhale, press down. Ground into those feet, heels and ankles and up and press down. Up, we're going to press down and roll down now. Folding that body, reaching down towards the floor, taking a breath, exhale, rolling it up. So we'll reach up onto the toes. Up and down, fold and roll. Take a breath, exhale, unwind. Inhale, up. And take it down. Just see where you're at today, taking a breath. Exhale up. Now open those palms, sink down into the heels, reach up onto the balls of the feet and down onto the heels. Just opening up through the shoulders, through the back, like you've got a pole taking it behind your head, but no ducking under, and bringing those elbows into your rib cage. Reaching up through the balls of the feet, sinking into the heels. Two more here. Inhaling and exhaling. One more. In and down. Good, bring those palms out now, sink down, rotate one way, bring it back to the center and rotate and center. Keep the pelvis centered and the knees bent, sinking into your heels. Inhaling through the center, exhale, rotate. We're going to do one more each side here. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Bring it up. Reaching up, back onto the balls of the feet. We're going to bend those knees now. Keep the ankles nice and strong and stay on the balls of the feet. Sliding down an imaginary wall, arms up arms out. Good. Take it into the glutes in terms of your balance as well and support structure. Two more here. And one more. Hold it out. Bring the arms forward. In to out for eight, seven, holding those heels up, six, glutes on, five, getting some heat into the legs, four, three, see it's going to make sliding feel pleasant, two, one, and release walking them out. Give them a wobble. It's a fast walk. It's a power walk. It's like a run. Let jelly happen in the thighs. Jelly on a plate. Like having one of those bands or towel drying really, really quickly. Everything's bobbling. That's okay. All right. We're coming down to our sliders. I'm just going to shift my mat back a little so you can see me clearly. We're going to use the weights with them today as well. So if you don't have sliders, you can still do the same action. And if you don't have weights, you can still do the same action. 
We're starting with our lateral slide. We're going to add some bicep curls into this. So making sure that you're always over your grounded leg because we don't want to slide out and well, we don't want to tear anything. <laughs> so we want to make sure we're grounded. Glutes, hips, core, pelvis, all stabilized. And this leg sliding out. As we go down, we're leaning our body forward and coming into a bicep curl and then squeezing it back up. And two. We're doing eight of these. Three. Lean the body forward, hinge from the hips. Four, keep the shoulder girdle connected. Five, it's nicer in drier weather, not so sticky. Six, seven, eight. Okay, we're going to hold it down and come in. One. Two, three, hello heat, four, five, core on, shoulders down, six, seven, and eight. Ease it up. Oh, and we get to have a little walkout jelly on a plate style again. Everything a little wobble or a big wobble or a wiggle, or a wibble, or a wobble. Kind of almost makes sense. All right, we've got the other side now. Same thing, eight steady with the bicep curl and then the hold, coming out. Eight. Seven. Leaning forward, it's like a single leg squat. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Eight, seven, core on. Six, shoulder girdle strong. Five, glutes on. Four, breathing. Three, pelvis stable. Two, heel connected. And one, and up. Oh, it's nice to have distractions along the way, isn't it? Give it another wiggle, wobble, wobble, wiggle. Oh, feels kind of nice because we've got some lunges as well. Yay, lunge. Let's say it's, it's almost close to lunch and that's a happy time. So from here, we're doing a bicep curl and we're going to go into a tricep extension from here. So let me show you what I mean. From here, we're gonna take it down, slide it out, then reach it back and then bring it up. One, two, Three, drop that knee. Four, drop. Keep the weight on that front leg. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. I'm not going to be cruel and make you do extra there because there's a lot of work already through the glutes. Let's do the other side. And just because I can, I'm going to face the other way. From here, same thing, starting in the bicep curl. Extend, bring it up. Use your glutes to help you. That's the prime mover with this one. Two, three, Four, 
five, all that weight over that front leg. Squeeze it up, six, seven, and eight. Bring it up and walk it out. Oh, gonna really appreciate a lie down after this. So let us take it down to the floor now. Pop those weights down just beside the top of your mat. Fold your mat in half and pop your sliders down the bottom of your mat. You can get down however you like to today because we've already done some roll downs. So however your body just feels like getting down into position to start. We're going to start with our bottom towards the end of the mat and the heels on the sliders. I'm taking my weights with me. We're going through variations of the preparations exercise we did last week. If you need to modify anything, feel free to do so or stick to the previous exercise I give you or break it up. So lying down. Oh, that feels nice after all that work. It's a bit of hamstring work coming in with this and um, hip flexor work as well. We're going to start with the weights directly up above us. Now there shouldn't be too much effort here because the shoulders are sitting back against the floor. Core is in, spine is long, neutral position or slightly imprinted if you have a big lower back curve. Let's start with single leg slide with an alternate arm reach. So I'm gonna slide my right leg and take my left arm out and bring it in. And the other side. I'm gonna keep my rib cage connected to the floor. My torso doesn't move. My limbs are moving around my torso. I'm using my lats in my upper body and I'm using my hip flexors, psoas in my lower body. And my core is controlled. Good. It's a bit of coordination as well. Now, from here, holding it up, we're just going to split these arms now. So from here, one down, one up. And bring it up, center, one down, one up. Now be aware that you're keeping the base of the rib cage connected to the floor at all times here. And the core drawn in and the front of the rib cage connected to the pubic bone. So the movement is just through the arms. Good. We're going to add on the legs. So with this, we can do a double leg slide. If you feel confident with the exchange, you can do the exchange. If you need to come back to center each time, you can. I'm gonna do four, starting from center, and then do it as an exchange. So from here, so we've got opposite arm, opposite leg, which means that the same arm goes down as the leg that goes out. Yeah, bit of a brain thing now. So it's still reaching with opposite arm and leg, but we're reaching down with the same arm as the leg that's sliding out. Now, if you want to do it continuous, it's an exchange now for eight, eight, seven, seven, pouring, six, six, it's almost fun. Five, five, you still have to be really aware of what's happening through those abdominal muscles. Four, four, those arms get a fair bit of work around the shoulder girdle as well. Three, and their insertion points. Three, two, two, one more each side. One, and one, and. Oh, the 
Doesn't that feel nice? Let's give our arms a rest for a moment. And we're gonna give the sliders a rest by coming into our basic hundreds position. So think of the uh, sliders or whatever you're using as your landing pads. Let's take up one leg and take it down, feeling that deep core connection. This is modified. Now from here, I'm going to go up, up and down, down, keeping this centered and connected. Up, up and down, down. Now I'm gonna raise the other leg first. Up, up, down, down. And we're lifting from the thigh, not just tapping through the toes. Down. If you need to do single leg, you're just doing up and down here. Up, up, down, and down. Keeping on switching your leading side. We're going to do four more all up. Four. Three. You feel that core connect, especially when you take that second leg up. Make sure you're not doming. Two. Easier said than done. All control. One. Beautiful. See, your hamstrings haven't had to work as hard now. They're ready to slide out again. We're going to do some arm circles with the weights now, changing our range of motion. Just make sure you've got some room so you can do your circles. So I might just slide down a little more with my arms. Okay, so from here, Let's take those arms around, just four preps. Four, making sure you've got room. Three. Two. And one. Good. From here, we're taking both of the legs out now for four. Three, two, one, good. Now I'm doing the same, but I'm going to add a half curl as my knees come in. Four, three, two, that tummy in. One, adding on if you want to, is lifting the legs up now, either both or a single. For four, three, two, one, Now holding in hundreds or modified hundreds with one leg down. You lift one arm up and one arm down. Exchange for eight, eight, seven, seven. Line on the floor if you need to. Six, six. Coring five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, and one. One, take it down, one leg down, other leg down, and have a little rest. <sighs> Time to do our posterior chain now. That's all right, doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> We've got big muscles here. But we're gonna stay in this position because we're going to use our sliders if we wish. Okay, optional here. Let's just start with our basic bridging. So straight up, hinging through the hips, glutes up, and take it down for eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. We're going to hold it up. Now, if you want to challenge yourself a little more, bring those feet in closer. You can use the sliders. It means that you have to weight up one side of the body. If you're just sliding on the floor, you're going to be lightening your leg. If you're sliding, you're still going to be pressing the weight down. What we're going to do is we're going to slide out and we're going to circle around just a little bit and bring it in. And the other side, mini circle, bring it in. Keeping the glutes up. Little teeny tiny circles, not too big because we need to keep this control. Every time I do this, I, I play air hockey in my head. It sounds like air hockey when the sliders hit. The old arcade game. Good, hold it here. Whoop. And you will have noticed that you sunk, I sunk. <laughs> All right, from here, just your regular slide out and sink down and slide in. Slide out, sink down, bring it up. Slide in, slide out, sink down, come up, slide in, slide out, sink down if you can, slide up and in. So it's working together, coordination. You'll be restricted by how far you can get out before you sink because of the extension through the hip. We're going to do four more all up. Just lifting and raising or lifting and lowering if you need to. With both feet on the floor, this is an option. Last one. Bring it up and sink it down. Oh, let's cross one foot over. Let's give those hips a bit of a how you going. Keep going hips. All right, if you want to pull in either just this top leg or underneath, feel free to do so here as well. We're going to hold this for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do the other side. Cross it over. You can just hold here if you like. Hug the leg in or take the other leg up. Breathing through, just releasing any tension through the hips. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Ease yourself up to a seated position. We haven't worked the top or the outside of our thighs. We've worked the inside very well with the sliders, but to work outside, we need to go against gravity. So we're going to add on a little from what we did last week. Let's add in one slider. Coming down, one leg out, extended. We're going to work in lots of fours today and add on as we go, if you feel like it. Option one is supported raise, up, side raise, and down. And two, and down, three, and four, If you want to add on now, take the arm down your thigh, slide it down the thigh as you come up. Anchor the foot down to the ground. For four, three, two, support it if you need to. And one. Good. Lying down now, just the leg raise. Toes are facing forward with this one first. 
for four, come into the waistline with this one. Three, two, and one. Now we're going to turn the foot out. So glute medius has to work for external rotation. Top of the foot facing the ceiling. Lift up again for four. You might be able to get a little higher. Stretch that leg. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Now take it down again. We're going to repeat that set of four and four, but we're going to repeat it from this position. So you can either do unsupported or supported. So our obliques are already in play. This will take it more into the outer thighs. Lifting for four, three, two, and one. Turn the foot up for four. Ouch! Three, two, one. But wait, that's not all. Kick it forward now. For four, three, two, one. And let it rest just for a moment. Oh. See, I was kind. I could have done eight each on those, but no, not today. <sighs> Holding here. Give yourself a little pat, massage or rub if you feel like you need to through those outer thighs or even if you need to push that hip away a little, give yourself some space through the obliques. Good. From here now, take the leg back behind you <laughs> without kicking anything. Reach the hand up, just stretching through the front of the body here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Bring it in. We're going to go on to the other side. I'm just going to shift my mat, so I've still got some room here. So my dear, and you might find that one side is stronger than the other. My right side is much stronger than my left with this one. So if you need to modify at any stage, please do so. Lifting up. So this is my lazy left. Two. Three. And four. Now, unassisted, one, a bit harder for me this side, Ooh. two, slide that hand down, it does help to anchor the foot, three, four, yeah, more breath involved there, four, and down, good, from here, toes are facing forward, Lifting for four, three, two, right into the waistline, and one. Good. Turn the toes up now, external rotation. For four, you might get a little further. Three, feeling the stretch in the inner thighs. Two, and one. Beautiful. Coming up now into that oblique compression and same thing, lifting for four, comes into outer thigh focus, three, two, and one, turn it up, four, three, feeling it, two, and one, now kick it forward for four, Three, two, and one, and let it rest. Oh, that's a sighable thing. So we can bring that down forward now. If you feel like it just needs a 
moment, give it a moment, otherwise you can give it a little rub, a little massage, a little bit of tender loving care, or a bit of a pummel if you prefer. Just want things to come out of that tension. It's just chilling out. Right, now we're going to stretch it back behind without kicking anything. And reach up that arm. Stretching down the front of the body. Reaching back as far as you can for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. And release. Ease it up. Now I know how disappointed some of you are that we haven't got to push ups yet. Don't worry, we're there now. I'm going to move these weights just to the side. So I'm looking at a different angle here. Let's up into a four point meal. Okay, today we're going to wash the floors, or polish the floors, move my spiky ball out of the way. All right, so as we do a push, we're doing our circles. Now, don't want to sink through the shoulder blades here, and if you want to make it harder, just take those legs further away from you, and there's more weight on the body. It's one of these ones that starts off easy, but the longer lever makes it harder. So from here, it's like a single push-up with a circle slide. One, one, two, two, three, bending the elbow, three, four, four, Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, and eight, and eight. I'm a little tired today, so I did modify it as well. Coming onto the belly. Alternate rows, there's a tiny bit of contraction through the um, diagonal plane with these ones. So we're going to come up similar to what we did last week with the slides here. Remember your modified is this or just the press up. What we're adding on today, if you're pressing up, is a little pull on one side. If you've got the sliders, as we come up, it's a little pull down to the side. So let's do eight all up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, relax the feet, glutes on, three, just to help stabilize, two, one, Take it down, press back into child's pose. Holding for four, three, two, and one. We have a couple of roll downs before we finish now. Leave the sliders out of it, but we can grab the weights. So I'm just going to pop my sliders to the side, take my hand weights and start in a seated position. It doesn't matter if my feet are off the mat, but you can definitely roll it out if you prefer. Everyone nice and comfy. I feel like I'm breathing a little heavier today. It's all about counting instead of breathing. All right, from here, bring it in towards the heart, sink. Now, if you need help with getting down 
All you need to do is push them out. If you want to make it harder, keep it close to your heart. Take a breath. Now push them out. Feel how the weights help you get up. If you want to make it easy, then weights are out. If you want to make it more challenging, weights are in. As the center of gravity moves with the load. Try to come up to a really nice 90 degree position, hinging through the hips when you've done your reach up. Remember, it's about the spine being laid down onto the floor, one vertebra at a time, and peeling up off the floor, one vertebra at a time. So not just hinging up. If we want to make it a little harder, and circle one arm back. We're going to do two more here. Last one. weights down to the side. Time to release any tension that might have crept into the body. So let's come up to our upper traps. Now we can lie down on the floor. But this is the easiest way to do it because then you can get in underneath the soft bit that you need. We're going to have a little wiggle and roll around. There's that wiggle, wobble, wiggle, wobble, wobble. <laughs> From here, get it in and you'll feel there's usually one or two spots that go, me, me, pick me. And you're gonna pick the one that can scream the loudest. It's like a competition where you clap for people. It's like, which bit's clapping the loudest? Which bit gets the most applause? And we're gonna push in, we're gonna breathe here. And if you like, you can move your head once you've got that muscle anchored. So we've got the anchoring in the muscle, but then we've got the head movement to gently move that muscle while it's anchored. So really it's two things we're doing. We're trying to encourage some myofascial release, but we're also trying to encourage the muscles to lengthen and release through gentle movement. Counting you down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now from here, what we're going to do is pop it underneath into that bit under the armpit. Oh, it's the ouchy bit. This is the muscle that helps us do the lifts and pull down when we're using the sliders, but it can get really tight. So we want it to be strong, but we also don't want it to go <coughs> because then all sorts of other problems occur. So if this might feel a little painful for you if you need to cross the arm over and get it in. It's usually around the back part of the shoulder. You'll feel it when you get there. If you don't feel anything, just enjoy a little roll here. Everyone else can be going, Ooh. so you can hold here or you can let it come out. You can lean and lie on it or you could just hold here if you want to, feeling where it is. Can we do a little distraction here? You breathe. Ah. Isn't that nice? Ah. Breaths. See, if we're telling our central nervous system that we're happy and calm, even though there's a cactus sticking into our back of our armpit almost. Happy and calm. Counting you down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
and one ease up. Ooh. Now from here, you're gonna just give it an extra little stretch, stretching, reaching across shoulder down, just between the shoulder blades as well. It's just that whole section. It's like reach for that beautiful green broccoli. Mm -mm. Or a chocolate chip cookie. Or coffee. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Holding for four, three, two, and one. Let's do the other side. Just gonna swivel so I can see. Ah, oh, have a little lie down here. Get it underneath your trapezius, upper trapezius. It might be a bit lower for you. So if you need to find somewhere else in your body or there's somewhere else that's going, no, she's doing the wrong bit. Do the bit that works for you. We're just working a bit of upper body here today because that's where most people tend to hold their tension and it can affect all the way down the chain. So once you find a section, you're gonna hang out here for a while. And if you feel better with moving, you can allow that head to move here as well in a beautiful, slow, fluid rhythm. Work with your breath here. This is where breath is so important. Conscious breathing. To slow down the motion, to enhance oxygen and blood flow. Because when we release off that ball, we want this fresh oxygenated blood to rush in to that area to help to heal, to soothe, to warm, to get energy flow back through any bits that are tight. This is what you do if you need a massage but you don't have one booked for a couple of weeks or you just need someone's thumbs in but there's no thumbs to be had. Grab that spiky ball, tennis ball. Even the end of a dumbbell would work with this. Counting down slowly here for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's come into that back part of the shoulder, into that insertion behind the armpit. Oh, you'll find it. Yep, there it is. Because you know what? If you get right on it, you almost get pins and needles shooting down. Now, we don't want to have pain because pain means we're not going to relax. But we need to actually feel that there's something there. So we're just going to move around till we feel it or at either side of it. Up to you how much weight you put on it. Up to you how you're lying on it. And then we distract ourselves with happy and calm thoughts. Rainbows, butterflies, unicorns, stars. Whatever makes you happy. Floating donuts. Chocolate. Shiny things. Jewels, the glistening waters in the ocean, and your breathing. Counting you down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Let's just open up at the back of the shoulder blade now, taking the arm across, shoulder down. Just feel that separation and just feel a little bit of an extra reach through there. <sighs> Sit down. Reach for your dreams. <sighs> Whatever they may be. Holding here, breathing for four, three, two, and one. Release. Let's ease ourselves up. Take your time. At least the head's been on top for a little bit now. Ha. 
your back. Ease your body up out of that original roll down. Roll those shoulders back and down. Oh. Let's do that wobble again. Wake everything up. So wake it, shake it to wake it. That's what we do. Yeah, think Kermit the Frog. Yay! <laughs> Get you going for the week. The last week before school holidays for those of you with kids and with grandchildren as well. Take a breath in and release. And in. Let it go. And one more. And let it go. <sighs> Happy and calm.